Today is the final day for the 2006 symposium. What do you hope you would have achieved by the end of it? I think we, um, we had yesterday and we will have today um, a very good intense dialogue between uh, people from the market, um, academics and also people from the public side. And I think the main result will be um, that everybody is clear in his mind what um, the beast in this game is, okay? Everybody talks about long-term investment, special link to institutional investors, and um, at the same time everybody knows that um, there are some factors working against that. And I do think uh, we will have a very clear analysis on these factors, on the beasts working for very short-term behavior and hampering the long-term view. And this really is uh, what we were up to. And together with Remy Frey, you wrote a book about sustainable retirement planning uh, in Switzerland. Does this conference confirm some of the findings that you have in your book? I do think so. Uh, the book is about um, the institutional investors in the pension scheme. In Switzerland, these are 800 billion Swiss francs in the system. So um, what is really uh, behind this money? What kind of interests? What kind of motives? What kind of expectations? Who is handling this money in what kind of interests for whom? Okay, this is a book about. And uh, in the book we have analyzed many, many distortions in the system. Uh, a lot of uh, problems between the owner of the money vis-a-vis -vis the agent of the money. Okay, so um, this principal agent problem as it is uh, addressed in the conference today and yesterday is one of the core themes one has to address, okay? You are a member of a pension scheme. Do you know anything about how your money is handled? Is it handled along your long-term interest, okay? You are very young, so you will wait for several decades, okay? So who is really running your interest huh, over those decades? That's a very, very profound question, isn't it? And you started this dialogue about sustainability about five years ago. How do you envisage this to continue? It's already seven years, but nevertheless, years. It, okay. it, it's, it's, it's a young baby still, okay? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> um, we think that um, when we started it, um, we had a plan to go for three years, just to, to do a movement of three years, yeah? But in the meantime, it, it got us such a good success, okay? And the interesting part is... Um, which are sponsoring it, which are interested in this dialogue, the academic partners uh, are pushing to, to, to go further, and so we do it. And what innovation have emerged so far? I do think we have um, had many innovations in the financial market, um, with uh, players like banks, insurance companies, boutiques, uh, uh, which are trying to implement what we are developing here. Um, uh, several examples in the Swiss part, in the French part of Switzerland, but around Switzerland also. And you've got some very, very interesting guests here and very high caliber guests. Are you happy with the way the symposium is going so far? Absolutely, and uh, we got a lot of feedback already yesterday evening. And um, as far as I get, probably I, I get only the positive feedback, you see, but anyway, uh, the feedback I get is. is not only positive, it's very positive, which is good for me and my team um, working here and to, um, trying to make this really an extraordinary thing, okay? So I guess we look forward to next year's symposium. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we have um, the, the broad idea, still a little bit broad idea, but a clear idea at least, to go for um, uh, an issue, um, the, the global comments on capital markets. It sounds a little bit uh, complicated, but it's very, very, very clear. It's about um, what kind of collective goods, worldwide collective goods, which are important for any human being, okay, are being reflected on the capital markets. Examples are water, example is air and climate, okay, example is energy, okay, just three examples. So how does the capital market start to reflect those collective goods, okay, in their products and in the valuation behind the products. It's just a wave of innovation happening and starting now. And we like to be the first symposium tackling that in a systematic manner. 
sets our objective for 2007. This sounds very promising. Thank you very much, Mr. Brugger. Thank you.